This in here is how much dirt you accumulate every night and this device right here is going to change that for you. Hey everyone, my name is Monty and welcome to Inside Wire. This is the Quetralize Bot X1, so let's take a look at what it is. This is the next generation bot cleaner which cleans your bed for you every night and inside this box you get yourself the device, the cleaning tube, a USB cable to charge it, a brush to clean out the filter, and two little devices to go over the wheels if you're not using that functionality. Now, taking a closer look at the device, we have a start and stop button here, a mode button. We have the tube, which actually comes out so you're able to clean this, so you can pop this off, like so, and clean out the filter should you need to do so. We have a sensor on the front just here, and if we take a look underneath, we have two wheels, we have the suction power just under here, and we have some UV lights, which is quite a cool feature. Also, along the edge, we have five sensors to stop it falling off the bed also as well. It's packed full of features, so let's talk about some of them. So it has 15,000 oscillations per minute. This little guard under here will rotate 15,000 times per minute. It has 14 AW worth of suction power, which is fairly powerful for this little device. The big one, as I mentioned earlier, is the sanitization of this, so you can have the UV lights running as this is running to sanitize the bed that you sleep on. It has a massive one hour run time, which is ample time to clean the bed. And we have a few different cleaning modes, which we'll have a look at shortly. And finally, the main one that I wanted to mention was the fall off option. So we have some sensors around the side to stop it falling off the bed. To power on the robot, there's the button on this side just here and you turn that on and the lights on the front come on. And then you have the mode option just here, which you can select. Powerful mode. There's powerful mode. Precision mode. Precision mode and soft mode. So they're the three different options and that is the suction power that comes from within. It goes higher as you go to the most powerful mode. To turn it on and off, there's a play and pause button just here. So with the dustbin installed, let's go ahead and put this to the test and see how long it takes to run. So this is a king size bed and I have my stopwatch. So let's go ahead and kick this off. Cleaning stuff. That started in soft mode, so let's let this run. So it's now complete and that took just over 15 minutes. Probably not the bit that anybody wants to see. So let's have a quick look inside. You can see how much that has actually collected. So overall for running this for 15 minutes, it's taken out a reasonable amount of dirt from this bed. Now, keep in mind that this is just what you would be sleeping with every night. So this does a great job of cleaning it up and sanitizing it at the same time. I showed you the three different modes at the start and there's one more mode that you can use and that is called manual mode. Now what that allows you to do is actually stop it running automatically. So you can do things like your pillow, for example, if you want to go ahead and hoover those. So let me show you how that works. So what we go ahead and do and pop these little bits in first. So these are the clamps that you can use to stop the wheels from rotating. We can go ahead and push these in and there we go. So they're now fitted. Powerful mode, cleaning stuff, off. And then you go ahead and hold this button down and press the play button. And you, can see, and you can see that's now running. So we go ahead and take it across the pillow like so. And that way you can go ahead and clean other items within your house as well. So you're not just restricted to a bed, you can also use this on a sofa as well if you want. And here's a quick demo of the sofa being cleaned. You have the examples of how it cleans and how it works. So let's have a look at how you go ahead and empty this. This is attached by a magnet, which you can just pop out and it's a twist and turn. So we go ahead and take this out. And after one clean, let's go ahead and see what came out of the bed. So you can see all of this here has come out and there's stuff on the filter as well. You're not able to pull the filter off, but this is where this brush comes in. So you can go ahead and sweep this all off. So make sure you get through each individual one and that filter is nice and clean, you can see there. So we can pop that back on ready to reuse. And this is everything that came out of the first pass on the bed. If you want to get your hands on one of these, there's a link down in the description below. And let me tell you what I think about this. So overall for this device, I think it's great. It cleans the bed. You can see from the example that it takes up a lot. So it is something I would be using on my bed personally. 
It has a decent amount of suction power and the one hour runtime means I can probably run across multiple beds as it only took about 15 to 16 minutes to do a single pass. The UV light is a great addition to make sure it is sanitized, but there are a couple of things that I think we need to talk about. One, there is no app functionality, which I'm very surprised with. This is probably one of the first products in a while of this type that I've reviewed that doesn't come with an app. In a way, I think that's probably good because you can just leave it, let it do its thing and finish away you go. The other thing I did try and do is pop it under the covers to see what it could do. And it didn't really work out so well because it was trying to figure out which way to go. So it does have the sensors on the side and the front that it does need to utilize. So you wouldn't be able to pop it on the, under the covers, but you can do it on top if you wish to do so. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Is this something you would use or you'd consider ordering? For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.